And now, please welcome Biliana De Soto. Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to take you on a very brief journey this afternoon of two realities that we all, uh, at some stage or another, uh, do face and will face. Now, if I talk to you about the reality of an ant, the ant in his colony or her colony doesn't know much else other than the reality in that particular colony. And at the risk of uh, being too funny, unless the ants develop some sort of antennae, uh, and unless there is some other world, they really are destined to live their lives with the behaviours and the patterns uh, exhibited pretty much instinctually in their colony. Now, if you take the fish, for example, and the expression, does a fish know that it's in the water? The fish doesn't know any other reality. Uh, what about us? Humans. Are we bound by the eggshell that we find ourselves in, the planet, uh, Earth, that is our reality? Or perhaps there is another reality. Now, I have over here a little urn. And I would like to introduce you to your reality. Unless the Lord comes before our lives are over, earthly-wise, this is your reality. What have I got here? There is some dust and some earth in here. If I said to you, hey, everybody, let's get excited about this reality. This is what you're going to be in 20, 30, 40, or however many years, and it doesn't matter in how many years' time. But if this is your reality, then what is there to live for? What is there to get excited about in life? What about this? This used to be a beautiful flower in my garden. And it's rather wilted, and it will very shortly be dust itself. The Bible says that we are dust, we came from dust, and to dust we shall return. It also says that we are no more than the flower in the field, which is one day and then disappears the next. It also uh, in the book of Psalms, there's an interesting verse, which, uh, you know, if I show you my hand, David, inspired by God, says that the length of my life is no longer than the breath of my hand. How big is that? That is our reality. To boot, not only is it, in the perspective of eternity, an incredibly short reality, but the reality that we know, and for so many, millions and millions over uh, the thousands of years that, that we have inhabited this planet, the reality for so many has been pain, suffering, unhappiness, disharmony, all of those things that all of us try and avoid uh, and try and fill our lives with something that is much better than that. Now, the Bible says in Psalms, Lord, remind me that my days are numbered. How fleeting is my life. You have made me lo no longer than the width of my hand. My entire life is just a moment to you. At best, each one of us is just a breath. Wow, I wonder if we truly took on the reality of our reality on board. First of all, without God, how much joy is it in understanding that sort of reality? And secondly, what is there that we can fill our time with here on this earth to forget that reality? 
Now, if for a moment you can imagine that this planet, metaphorically speaking, is an aeroplane, and all of us are on board this aeroplane, and all of us know that this aeroplane is destined to crash. There is no way any one of us will hit the runway safely. We know that it'll explode, and we, together with it, will be gobbled up by the flames. How do you pass time on an aeroplane like that? How do you entertain yourself? How do you manage to forget that end moment? So if you can imagine this, this, this aeroplane, and for a moment you are privy with a huge magnifying glass to everything that goes on inside that aeroplane. You can see that this aeroplane is divided into so many different departments. There is the pub and the club and uh, you know, the entertainment scene, and there's music, and there's dancing, and there's joy. And people are passing their time in this aeroplane, filling in time before the aeroplane crashes. You can see that others are more preoccupied with the scholarly concerns, and there's a library for all things knowledgeable and wonderful. Scientists are discussing all sorts of, you know, uh, parachute plans, perhaps another planet, another aeroplane, how can we escape? There are others who are not able to do much on this aeroplane at all. They are numbed with fear. There are psychologists, there are psychologists, there is a hospital on board, there is a school. But no matter where you look, everybody knows that whatever they do to pass time in this aeroplane means zero. They are destined to crash. This is pretty dramatic. But is it any different to how we pass time? How we live here and now? God tells us that there is another reality. And I don't know about you, but I am so thankful that in Christ there is a parachute. And safety is guaranteed. A safe landing to another planet is guaranteed. God promises that if we believe on his son Jesus Christ, he will exchange his reality for ours. Where God dwell, dwells, there is peace, there is harmony, there is no sickness, and there is no death. The Bible is full of a different reality just for the taking, just for the faith in Jesus Christ. Laughter is preferred to crying. Well-being is preferred to pain. Beautiful landscapes are preferred to ugly uh, uh, scenery. And the Bible promises that I saw a new heaven and a new earth, where no pain, where no sickness dwells. I don't know about you, but on this aeroplane destined the crash, is there any other parachute on offer? I don't know of any better promise than the Christian hope we have in Jesus Christ that this reality, that this aeroplane that we are on is being and has been rescued by Jesus Christ have you taken your parachute on board? Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord? Because this mortal is about to put on immortality. And those of us who believe in Jesus will shout for joy, O oh death, where is thy victory? Not if you accept Jesus Christ and the reality 
that he dwells in is yours. Thank you. To help you understand God's word in a whole new way, go to goodnewsunlimited.com. You can sign up there to get your free devotional delivered to you each day. This program has been paid for by the partners and friends of Good News Unlimited. Word spreads fast.